citizens of Thorpecaster City. We're coming at you on the broadcast. I'm Harry Tricklehorn. Today, a crime was committed. Here to talk to you about it is our chief reporter, Long John McScorpion. Thank you, Harry. Today's story, crime. Last night, the Piggy Bank was broken into by a gang of robbers who allegedly used special agent chickens to sneak into the bank and steal all the cash. Eldred Lightning Bolt be at the bank and can tell us more. Hi guys, it's Eldred Lightning Bolt here. I'm here at the Piggy Bank, which was robbed last night. Now we believe the robbers used special agent chickens, which then went through those air vents up there, into the bank where they stole all the cash. We don't know exactly who these robbers were, as they were careful to avoid most of the security cameras. The only footage we have of them on the cameras is we, it, was, it seems to be one robber arguing with another robber over a hot dog. So as you can see here, a robber comes onto the screen and it looks like he's holding a couple of hot dogs. And he's clearly arguing with another robber who wants the hot dogs. And then he takes a gun out of his pocket and shoots the other robber who wants the hot dogs. We didn't find any bodies at the crime scene though. And then he just runs away. A mystery indeed. Back to you in the studio. Well there you have it. We may still not know what went down, but we do know it was certainly foul play. We'll see you next time on the broadcast. I'm Harry Trinklehorn. Jack Matrix Chainsaw for the news! Thank you to all you lovely people for tuning in to today's story, A Stunning Twist! Recently, Thorpecaster's largest financial center, the PG Bank, was broken into by a gang of thieves who used special agent chickens to infiltrate the bank and steal $600 million. But in a new twist on an already interesting story, it appears that the Special Agent Chickens were actually rogue operatives, originally trained by the United States government. Here we have the United States four-star General Anderson on the line to tell us more. Thank you, Mr. Matrix Chainsaw. These chickens pose a major threat to U.S. national security. We have a reasonable evidence that suggests these chickens may be working for a terrorist organization. The chickens entered into our FBI SWAT Academy eight years ago and were trained in the arts of battle like America's finest. However, we believe one chicken, a rogue operative called Nefetherus, led these chickens astray to become one of the most deadly terrorist forces on the planet. Following more investigation into the robbery at the Piggy Bank, it now appears that the so-called robbers, who allegedly used the chickens as weapons in their attack, were actually all groups of three chickens standing on top of each other and wearing human clothes. The fight over the hot dog as witnessed on security cameras was actually a mistake, as the chickens originally struggled to control the guns, having only wings with which to hold them. Now the chickens have $600 million and God knows what they are going to do with it. The government and the military may come under scrutiny as this elite terrorist group came from within our own ranks. We will do our best to defeat the chickens and recover the $600 million. Well, there you have it. What looked like a simple bank robbery has now spiraled into a national disaster. I'm Jack Matrix Chainsaw, and we'll keep you updated on the news! Mr. President, the security of the nation's military program is being called into question after this terrible disaster. 
I wouldn't call it a disaster. Okay. The security of the nation's military program is being called into question after this horrendous debacle. How could you let this happen? Look, this is not the fault of any specific person in the government. One of our elite operatives went rogue, taking dozens of others with him, and together they all robbed a bank and stole a large fortune. I don't see what part of that constitutes a horrendous debacle. Do you have a plan about what you're going to do? Well, my wand was temporarily confiscated by certain weapon av advocates, said they claimed wands are for commies, so... No. Not to be critical, Mr. President, but you seem terribly unprepared and completely incompetent. Senator Whitemail, what should the United States do to defeat this elite group of terrorist chickens? Well, these chickens do pose a grave threat to U.S. national security, so... Everyone in the nation should at least own a decent style pile of guns. I'm not saying a lot of guns, just about like 90 or so, and of course some hand grenades, you know, other fancy, just like the kind you buy at Walmart is fine. That seems dangerous. As dangerous as buying zero guns and looking like a gosh darn European? Thank you, Senator. Senator Diversity, what should the U.S. do to save the day? The United States will need to launch a large-scale military operation to defeat these chickens. So we will need a larger military budget. Larger than the one we have now at almost $1 trillion? Yes. How do you suppose we obtain a larger military budget? I, I, I don't want to say. It, it just it, it sounds like faxes and starts with a T. Faxes? Sure. Senator Doolittle, how should the United States deal with this threat? I say we just sit back and see what happens. We shouldn't do anything? Are we supposed to do anything? Boom! You are so busted! What, Larry? Sitting back in the face of crisis? This is why we shouldn't have a government! If you don't want the government to exist, why do you want us to do anything? I don't know, I'm just mad! What are you even doing here? I'm gonna kick your ass! But you can't even, but we don't even need to go. Yes, we do, the government's all this one. Hello, my name is Jacques Alex de Motherford Hughes. I am an Interpol Inspector, world class secret agent, and all around sexy man. Today is a good day for us because I am on the case. Hello, my name is Interpol Inspector Jacques Hughes, and I'm here to talk about the job of being the detective for the UN mission to defeat the terrorist chickens. I'm here at one of the most secure U.S. government locations, Camp David. Oh, sacre bleu! This is the children's camp of the Sam Nam. Okay, now I'm here. Have you talked to the field's top generals about this top secret mission that is being offered to me? I will also talk to my therapist who says, Jacques. Talking about government secrets out loud is not a good idea. Like when I told him that Logan Paul shot JFK. Oh damn. So, Inspector Hughes, what will you do if we entrust you with this mission? I promise I will retrieve the $600 million. You better. That money was being used to pay for the president's friends, brothers, wife's daughters, fish's birthday party. I will also capture all these cocks and bring them to justice. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Cock is a uh, French for how you say, uh, rooster. Oh. Well, in that case, we shall have to assign another detective to the case alongside you. Here he is. 
My name is Daz Vajisa. I investigate sexual innuendos for the FBI. In my time on the force, I've taken down such criminals as New York crime boss Benjamin Dover and Atlanta gangster Dixie Normus. There's no villain who can escape my cock. Who is my psychic at the FBI? Very well. You two shall work together on the case. This is what we know. The chickens robbed a bank, and then escaped. That's it? Yeah, I can't believe it either. After 48 hours of hard work, when we put all our heads together, the FBI came up with all this. But there's still more we don't know. Ugh. It's not just like a clue is gonna pop out of nowhere. Oh, sorry, that's me. Hello, Daz what G said. Daz, you won't believe this. Apparently, the chickens have hijacked a plane that took off from Fort Castor Airport about two hours ago. We only know about this because an old lady who was on the plane tried to signal for help by mailing a letter to the government and putting the letter in the seat pocket in front of her, which she thought was a mailbox. However, she accidentally dropped it out of the window, where it fell 40,000 feet before landing at an incredibly high speed near a man who was a receptionist at the Pentagon, completely ruining his nephew's bar mitzvah, but he didn't really want to be there anyway. Okay, thank you, Mike. It turns out that the chickens hijacked a plane. And we know about it because an old lady happened to write a letter about it, which happened to fall out the window, which happened to land in front of a man who happened to work at the Pentagon. And all of this happened right after you said a clue wasn't going to pop out of nowhere. I know. It's almost... too convenient. Hey, man. Hey! Okay, so let's see. Five flights left today around the time the hijacked plane took off. However, we don't know which one it was. But it's not this one. It's traveling to Clown Town, New Mexico. There's no way even chickens will be brave enough to attack a plane of clowns heavily armed with city string and juggling balls. True. And this one can't be it. It's the private jet of a fast food chicken place. That narrows it down to three. The ones going to Vancouver, London, and Berlin. If we monitor the flight paths, we can see they're going in different directions, so we know which is which. The London one is just above the Berlin one. They're kind of going in a little bit of the same direction, but the top one is London. But we don't know which planes they're on. Let's call the airports and tell them that a plane may be headed their way with a group of terrorist chickens on board. I'll call Vancouver. Hello, Vancouver International Airport. How can I help you today? Hello? This is Interpol Inspector Shakirs! I just wanted to let you know that I plane filled with terrorist chickens is heading your way. Okay. Wait, that's it? You don't want me to prove I'm an Interpol Inspector and this isn't a prank call? No, I trust you, and I'm very sorry this is happening. Why are you sorry? You're the one whose airports I could be in! I know, and I'm sorry to cause you all this trouble. Have a nice day now. Je ne jamais stéréotype, right? I'm very sorry about that. I'll call London. Ground control to Agent Daz. Sorry. Hi, this is Daz with G said from the FBI. A plane has been hijacked by terrorist chickens and may be heading your way. Chickens? Chickens? Um. Yes. No! I am a Tottenham Hotspur fan, and our mascot is a cockerel! A cockerel! Why does it win not play with chicken? Shut up! Alcohol Bill in. Berlin, guten Tag. Hello. My name is. Was? My name is. Ich kann dich nicht holen. What? Ich kann dich nicht holen. Okay, wait, I know this. Each can. Each can. Dick Nick. A man called Dick Nietzsche. Oren? Boring. A man called Dick Nietzsche has an itch and is boring. I don't know who Dick Nietzsche is. Was? Oh, forget it. Okay, now what? Wait a minute, I just realized something. If the chickens hijacked a plane, why are all three planes still on course? Because they couldn't fly the plane? Because the plane is already going somewhere they want to go.
What do chickens like? Chicken farms? Chicken houses? Large manners from the 1870s! Large manners from the 1870s! As it is well known, chickens love large manners from the 1870s. Dalton Manor! Located in Vancouver, the house of British Ambassador to Canada, Derry Dalton, and later home to the law firm, Dalton, Darby, Darlington, Davenport, Dayton, Dayton, Denham, Denver, Digby, Dryden, Dudley, and Durham. It's been abandoned for a few years, but it looks as though somebody's about to set up shop. The chickens! Hello, this is Daz with said from the FBI. We have located... Hello, Jerk McThunder here. Really? That is excellent news. Why would you... Oh, I see. Okay, I will be right there. Hello, I'm Dirk McThunder for the news. Today, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm being Dirk McThunder for the news. Today, the U.S. Army. Sir, you're not allowed to be here. This is a restricted area. Since when? Since 12 hours ago. Well, I was here first. Oh, really? Prove it. Here's a picture of me camped out here last night like a hobo. That's right. That's what some of us do to get the big story. <gasps> You're a reporter! You seriously couldn't have figured that out from I'm Dirk McThunder for the news and the fact that a camera is filming me? Get out of here! Oh yeah? Yeah! Um. Look out! Leaves in the face! Ah! Hey, what are you doing? Um. It was the chickens! Go get them, boys! Hello, I'm Dirk McThunder for the news. I'm here at Dalton Manor where the police and the military have surrounded the base of the fair terrorist chickens. It is believed that the chickens, led by former US FBI agent Neff Featheris, are holding approximately a dozen people hostage. Generals, you're gonna come see this. Look at this. Is that the French battle flag? <laughs> I'm glad Inspector Hughes wasn't around to hear that. Ah, me on the radio, you idiot! God, sorry yourself off that bridge, you English bastard! You stupid, dumb, poppy son of it! It was upside down! This is a map of the manor with the heat map of radiation. Look at all that radiation in this area under the manor. My god, could it be? I will kill you, you stupid mustache idiot! Inspector! Chickens may have weapons of mass destruction. Repeat, chick- <laughs> General- Ow! Let me finish my goddamn insult! Wait. They have sent us a note. What does it say? Uh, give me a minute, it's how to read this chicken scratch. It, it says- Send in ostrich negotiator. Also send in six pounds of chicken feed. Low fat, I'm on a dat. Damage you, I told you not to rat that. No one cares but your dumb dat. No, don't rat that. Yes, I told, I told you to rat everything I said, but I didn't mean that. Forget it, do it now. Okay, we need a plan. What if, while we send in the hostage negotiator, Inspector Hughes sneaks in and locates the weapons of mass destruction? Okay, let's try that. Okay, I'm here and I have the chicken feed. Joe, I couldn't get low fat, but I do have Super Nacho Supreme Blast Zero, which has only 100 calories. 
Merci. Inspector Jacques Hughes. Well, well, well. Nephysalis! Ja under list! <laughs> I don't think so. Because, if you move any closer, I would like this fuse. Which will tell the computer to insert the launch codes, which will then launch the nuclear missiles. I understand that was misleading. Ah, so the money was the financing missiles. It matters not. Even the press is here to witness your defeat. Actually, the press is here to witness your defeat. Who do you think called them? Hello, Jerk McThunder here. Hey, Jerk, it's Jack. We got the big story here. Really? That is excellent news. Why would you- I'm calling you now because you gotta go to Dalton Manor, and it's in Canada. Oh, I see. Okay, I will be right there. Oh no, what are you going to do? Well, there's no way I would say my top secret plan, but... I'm a chicken who's inclined to leave the human race behind to launch missiles that are aligned to Kappa. Does it is not time that loaded and the flight tree line plutonium 239 will bring the end of human kind of what makes me a criminal mastermind. I'll kill Jeb White Mills racist views and all the people at the news. I'll kill anyone I choose. Even you my deja cues. My plot you heard it in your ears. I've been hatching it for six years. I think it confirms your worst fears. I'll bring humanity to tears. I kill people in my time but now my aims are more aligned. With guys, the presidential kind that was makes me a criminal mastermind. Now I think it's time to go into the mountains full of snow. I'm busting out of this chateau, launching missiles, Geronimo. No, quickly after him. Oh no, I'm the only one here. Nefesalists have not caught you, your millions have not caught you, the destruction you tried to make, I'm proud to say now, it's checkmate, I could shoot you, but no screw it, that one got shot, I will admit, it's a question, I won't remit, which is of course, why'd you do it? The time you humans thought you were the best species upon the earth, well in one massive orange blur, all of that power will transfer, I'm a government saboteur, FBI the perfect cover, to destroy humans, my good sir, and come out the species victor, by now I see my plan has failed, gone to put my gambit serial, if I'm captured, I'll be jailed, so out of here I will hide. Tell the choppers here, I know it's mine. It's getting me out of this bind. I might be back another time. Remember this criminal mastermind. No, no, no.
What's going on? I couldn't find any of the chickens. They must have escaped. Ah, to activate the bomb is over for now. Agent Wichita said in Inspector Hughes, it is my honor to present you with the Medal of Goodness. This medal is given to those who have completed actions of extreme goodness for the sake of the world. You are receiving these medals for stopping a nuclear crisis and defeating the terrorist chickens. Even though you let them get away, here you go! Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I play Pokemon Go every Hello? Hey, Daz, it's Mike. We've got another mission for you. Another mission? Yep. We're in. 